Here again with Ben Hall Miller, NCAA Football 10. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Season Showdown now. This is another feature that was kind of laid out. We didn't have many details on, so we'd like to hear more. So just kind of, kind of give us the overview of what that is all about. So college football is pretty unique in the fact that people are very passionate for their schools. They love their schools, and they will do anything for them. And the old adage of my school is better than you, and I'm going to prove it, has never been truer than with Season Showdown. So here you go. You sign up with the school you want to represent, and for the rest of the season, you're earning credits to help that school's cause. So this is a season-long competition that extends even through the postseason. We're going to be done with this thing finally in January. Our postseason, our national championship game, matches up with the real-life national championship game. So every week of the season, your opponent is your, your school's real-world opponent. So the third week in October, Tennessee fans are playing Alabama. The week before uh, Thanksgiving, it's Michigan-Ohio State weekend. So that's your opponent for there. So you're earning credits against those schools, trying to beat that school. So there's five different ways you can earn credits. By games versus CPU, by games versus your current opponent that week, and also games just randomly online against other people. So if it is that Ohio State-Michigan week, and I'm playing, I'm representing Michigan and playing someone that's representing Nebraska, that credits I earn in that game will go to that category. We have two web applications as well, so you can show how much of a trivia buff you are in college football by showing up your trivia skills in that game. There's also an online voting game that allows me to go in and not only vote, uh, vote for my team, but also try and get my rivals to lose their game by voting against them for that week. And what are some of the ways as an individual uh, you're, you're, you're kind of rated on, on different categories, right? Sure. So it's not just playing the game and winning. It's how you play the game. There's three main components of that. That's by showing off your skills, your strategy, and your sportsmanship. So skills, all about your skills and the sticks. So getting user picks, forcing fumbles, getting user big hits. Those are your credits that way. Uh, strategy, we've got a lot of new game plan elements, uh, gameplay elements that really factor in with this. So your ability to game plan, which is a brand new feature we have. So you can say how aggressive or how conservative you want your players to be. So I want my defensive backs always going for a pick. I do that, there's a chance I might get burned, but I'll get more interceptions. I want my defensive players to try and strip the ball. I need that ball back. You know, they, they might want to get more face masks than that because they're always kind of going for that strip and they might get a hand too hot. So based on your settings for that, if you, if you perform an action how, based on how your green game planning is set, you'll earn credits that way. And that, that's something you can change on a play-by-play -play basis from the play call screen. So you can always adjust your game planning based on what you need for that situation. Uh, in addition to that, we've added setup plays. So now, I, if you want a play action play to work, you can set it up to actually work by running a, a linked play to it. So in the play call screen, you'll see plays that are linked together. Run a halfback dive, run it successfully, run it enough, the, play, the defense is going to bite on that play action. So if that's 100% set up, you'll see it there. And you can run that whenever you want to. You don't have to run it right away. So you can set a play up in the first quarter, run it in the third quarter. Now, when I say it'll work, I don't mean it's 100% touchdown every time. What I mean is the defense has the highest likelihood of biting on that fake. Elite players are still going to be elite players. But the kind of, you know, secondary kind of type players, the guys that probably shouldn't be in playing, they might bite on that play action. So you can use that, run a, uh, run a setup play well, and earn credits that way. Finally, there's defensive keys. So with this, I can actually say, I know what you're going to do, and I'm going to shut you down. So if I know you're running right, I can defensive key on a run to the right, a run to the left, a run to the middle, a pass, or shut down a specific receiver. If I do that effectively, I'm going to earn credits that way. Finally, sportsmanship. Now this one, you might laugh at first when you think about adding that to a game, but this is really about changing the way people are playing games online. Because we've all had poor experiences when you play somebody, and it's just, it's no fun. It's, it's fourth and long, guy. You're not going to get this. Hunt me the ball. Instead, they just go for it. And then you, know, you get in these situations. Yeah, exactly. They quit on you. Who wants that? So you'll actually, this is the one category where you can earn and also lose credits. So if you, it's all situational based. So if it's, you're losing in the fourth quarter and you need to go for it, you're not going to get pinned for that. But if it's first, uh, first quarter, you're up by 35, you're on your own 20, what are you going for? Kick it away. You'll get credits for that. If you don't, you're going to lose credits. Going for an onside kick when you don't need to. Going for a two-point conversion every single time, no matter what, you're going to get dinged if you don't need to be doing that. Uh, you know, you'll even get credits for taking a knee to run the clock out at the end of the game. So there's a lot of different ways you can earn and lose credits with that. All of that factors in for the number of credits you earn for your school for that game and get factored in for that week. Now, one of the biggest concerns, I think, with this is that uh, only the big name schools, the Floridas, the USC's, the Texas, yeah. uh, that they're going to have the huge advantage and really it's just going to come down to them and no one else is really going to be all that involved. You know? So that was a, a huge uh, design decision we had was to make sure that every school has the ability to compete for the national championship. So with that, 
it's the five category format which really helps that out a lot. It's not, not just a numbers game, not just a leaderboard out there, but you get the most credits, you win. So you have to play in each of the different types of games, and they're all set up in a way that the smaller schools have a chance in each and every one. So you're going to see some upsets in this. You're going to see some schools that in the real world wouldn't win the games have a real legitimate chance to win this. Also, we have weekly polls every week where we update all 120 schools based on their performance from the previous week and through the season overall. So you'll always know who the top schools are and where they're at. And again, with that 32-team tournament, that's where you need to be. So it's not a situation where the one and two guys get to battle it out at the very end. You get to stay your place at the table if you're number 32 and try and talk, take down that number one team and move all the way to the championship game. You know, we're sitting here on April 24th, so obviously we know about this way before the public really knows the detail, yeah. details of it. Um, barely or not, there's been you know little known about this and, and two press releases. One early on was a brief sentence, and then today we had a longer paragraph. And the community is kind of some people have kind of made up their minds on it without seeing it. What would you say to those guys who maybe kind of made up their mind to kind of give them you know what would you say to them to get them to try out season showdown? So it's a situation where all you need to do is show your love for your school. Just go in there and sign up for it, and you're earning credits at all times for your school. It's not something where you need to go in every single game and play this mode. You can Once you sign up, boot up the game, go into Dynasty, start playing, you're earning credits. So you're always helping your school. So it's kind of a feature that is as big or as little as you want it to be. Exactly. So you can go in, and you can check out the latest video podcast we have, the latest audio podcast, play our web games, play everything you want to, or just go in and play your games like you normally would, and it'll be happening in the background for you. During the game, when you do these events, you'll see the credits pop up, letting you know what you've done. You'll see the pause menu. You'll see how much you've earned. You can see what, really what you're doing to help your school out. All right. Thanks a lot, Ben. Sounds great. Anytime, yeah. <laughs>